My name is Ryo Fujiwara, and I'm a second-year high school student. I've always disliked having conversations with people, so I'm usually alone in school. But I'm not complaining. In fact, I was thankful that I didn't have to worry about others. That's my classmate, Yori Kuon. She lives a completely different life from me. She was extremely pretty and her grades were always at the top. She was athletic too, and even had a fan club where people called her Miss Yori or Princess Yori. Yori-san, can we eat lunch together? Sounds like fun. Let's all eat together. What? Can I join too? Of course. I'm sure today will be a wonderful lunch break too. I live by myself right now. This was because I wanted to be independent as possible, and asked my parents to let me do so. From looking for a place to live and signing lease agreements, I did everything I could on my own. <sighs> Yori-san? Is something wrong? No, everything's fine. I'm living in a shabby apartment as a result, but I liked it the way it was. It was quiet, and I finally had a place where I could be by myself. That's what I thought for a while after I moved in. Alright, what should I make for dinner? Ah! Ryo, I'm hungry. Please, at least knock. I know what dinner is. Amu rice, isn't it? How'd you know? I'm going to make it, so just wait here. For that, hug me like you always do. I don't always hug you. Gosh, stop being so stingy. At home, Yori always acted like a baby with me. I'm always wondering where her dignified character at school disappears to. She comes over to my place every day, eats my food, and is clinging with me until bedtime. <gasps> oh, I got ketchup on me. Ryo, wipe it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, what are you doing? What? I can't. You can't? I'm living under the same roof with the prettiest girl in our school right now. Thinking back, we started sort of living together from the moment she moved here. Our first impressions were kind of terrible. I'm finally settled living here. Huh? What's that sound? It's coming from next door. Huh? Is someone moving in today too? Gosh, it's not turning on at all. The door's wide open. She's not cautious at all. We're neighbors though, so maybe I should at least introduce myself. There? Ouch! Um, I'm your next door neighbor and. Go oh, away! You're a stalker, aren't you? Don't come near me! Wait, hold on a second! You're so persistent! Huh? D did I get him? I I'm going to call the cops, so don't move, old man! I told you, I'm not a suspicious person. I live next door, and old man? That's rude. I'm still a high schooler. Wait, I'm. What? You're joking! Hey! Hey, get a grip! <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. I feel so bad. I mean, I'm glad we cleared things up. Ouch! I heard loud noises earlier. Did something happen? I was trying to set up a washing machine, but I'm no good at things like this. I'm sorry if I bothered you with all the noise. Setting up the washing machine? Was it that hard? She must be super clumsy. Um, if you'd like, did you want me to do it for you? Really? Is this a gift from God? That's a bit overdramatic, but <laughs> she's a funny girl. Yes, please! See? Easy, right? It's not that hard if you do it calmly. So cool! Cool? I'm kind of happy she's depending on someone like me, though. Alright, I'll get going then. Um, uh... I still have things that I need help with. More? What else do you have, if I may ask? The refrigerator, television, lights, gas, water, putting together the closet, moving the desk... Okay, I'll help you with all of that. Why? Why am I helping this girl move in? I don't even know her name. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Um, uh, can you help me a little bit? Huh? 
<sighs> this is bad. I feel happy just doing something to help her out. I just met her. I didn't know I could feel so much joy from someone depending on me. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. I'm hungry. You don't have any food yet, right? Nope, nothing. Okay, I'll go buy something. How is it? Is it good? Yep, it's delicious. Oh, by the way, I didn't get your name. My name is Ryo. Nice to meet you. Call me Iori. Oh, by the way, I'm a high schooler just like you, Ryo. All right. I'm going to head out now because it's late. No, don't go. It'll be lonely. What? Will you sleep over tonight? No, no, I can't do that. Why not? Why can't you? We just met, and we're still in high school. Do you... Uh, do, do you hate me? I knew it. You don't like me. It's not that, but... Just today, then. Please. Okay. I'm only going to sleep over tonight, okay? <sighs> what a crazy day. After we got into bed, she told me everything. How her family used to be extremely rich, and how her parents passed away after they failed in their business. She didn't have any family to depend on, and was living with a small amount of money she had. Just like that, our strange life together started. I only let her come near me when we were at home. That was because I thought it would negatively affect her if she spent time around an introvert like me. In front of others, she speaks like a dignified princess because of her old habits. At school, everyone thinks that she's from a rich family because of that. It seems like people have a hard time getting too close to her because of her beauty. So no one knows the true story. Casual staring. <laughs> Casual staring. She's doing it on purpose. <laughs> she starts doing things like this when she can't stand being away from me. Yori san, you got a perfect score on last test too? Yeah, it was a coincidence. I'm very lucky, you know? Yori san, will you help the tennis team for our next match? She's pretty, smart, athletic, and like a princess that can do anything. No one would believe that she's actually a huge baby. Gosh, you're so annoying! Can you not be so loud? Uh, I'm sorry, Baruesan. Honestly, the class has been such a bad place ever since you transferred here. Her name is Warure. She's the daughter of some CEO and is unsatisfied if she's not always number one. I sometimes see her being angry with Iori. Iori Kuon, she's getting quite carried away, isn't she? T just watch. I got shivers after watching Warure. I have a bad feeling about this. Yo, I'm here again. What's wrong? You're not feeling well? Yeah, I think I have a bit of a fever. I think I caught a cold. That shiver from earlier today was just a cold. Oh no, are you sick? I was sick. Oh, it's all my fault. I made him do too much for me. It's not that. It's just a cold. I know. I'll take care of you today, Vio. No, I'm fine, really. Shoot, this is going to be bad. Don't worry. Leave everything to me today. Here you go. My special cream stew. <laughs> Thanks. Why, why does it look like that? What the hell is this? Here, open wide. Uh, okay, open wider. Yes. Not delicious. Oh, thank goodness. Wait, wait a second. What are you doing? I thought I could help you. I don't need your help. Get out, please. Uh, are you sure? Finally get some rest. Ah, why are you sleeping next to me? I'm warming you up. I'm going to make you sick. You should go away. <laughs> if it's your cold, I'm okay with it. I'll take it all away for you. You can't do that. Here, I think you can give it to me like this. Your face is so close. I'm sorry for always putting you through trouble. I just want to get better. 
Iori. I don't think that you're putting me through trouble. Iori, thank you for today. Thanks to you, I feel a little better. I'm glad. Now that I'm relieved, I'm uh, getting a bit sleepy. Yori, you're kind of close. <sighs> She's asleep. <sighs> <laughs> She's like a little kid. Thanks for today. Iori and I were living a peaceful life like this, but... What's going on? What's all that noise? What? No way! She's super poor? No way! I feel betrayed! What? What is that? Huh? It's... Ryo. What is he doing? Let me sneak up on him. Oh, Iori! You can't! Don't come here! What are you doing? You're going to talk to me in school today? I told you, you can't come here! It's nothing! Gosh, what are you hiding? Let me see! <gasps> Yori? Are you okay? Why would someone do this? Oh, Yori-san, you're not a princess at all, are you? You must have had a lot of fun fooling everyone, huh? I, I wasn't trying to! Everyone, beware of Yori-san. All she does is lie, so you don't know what she'd do to you. That's... You're terrible! <laughs> Hold on! Yori! Honestly, what a surprise. Who oh, no, knew Yori-san was such a big fat liar? You... She wasn't lying to anyone! What do you want, you introvert? Don't talk to me! Those papers were posted around the school and were quickly torn down. Still, everyone quickly found out that she was living in a shabby apartment. Aoi wasn't rich, right? Gosh, she tricked me. She wasn't lying to anyone. Everyone just assumed she was rich. That day, I went to Iori's room for the first time since she moved in. Iori, I'm coming in. Are you okay? Yeah. I know you're not. Why? How things work out for me. Everyone at my old school started treating me horribly after I became poor. It made me feel like I was worthless. Iori. I thought that if I worked hard, people would accept me. But everyone's the same. I'm all alone. I shouldn't have studied so hard. Iori, that's not true. You didn't do anything wrong. I'll protect you. I fall asleep. I don't want to go to school. Maybe I should skip today. Yori, are you awake? Wh what? Uh, why are you here so early? I thought we could go to school together. Together? Come on, go get ready. B but are you sure you're okay with it? People are going to hate on you if you're with me. I don't want to make your life harder. You don't need to worry about that. Come on. Let's go. It'll be fine. <laughs> Look, the introverted and the big lying princess came to school together. <laughs> Hilarious! Hey, you can call me an introvert all you want, but take back what you said about her! Hold on, Mio. What do you want? You have some guts talking back to me. I'm going to protect you, Iori. What? Everyone, listen to me. It's true that Iori isn't a rich princess. Ryo? Yeah, she was fooling everyone. That's wrong. When did she ever say, I'm rich? The reason she's smart and athletic isn't because she's rich. It was because she put in a lot of hard work. It was all your misunderstanding. Whether she's rich or not, she's still the same person. Come on, guys. Don't believe that introvert. I don't care what you call me, but Iori-san never tricked anyone. Everyone, please. Understand. What are you even saying? No one's gonna believe what you say! <laughs> Your son always helped me with my homework. She came to help me out the tennis ski team too without complaining. Oh, I never did anything to thank you. I'm sorry, Yori son. What we did was terrible. You guys. What the hell? After that, everyone started treating Iori as a normal friend and not a rich princess. 
I didn't need to worry, because Iori found her own place in the school again without my help. Iori, help me with my homework! I guess I'll help in exchange for a curry bread at the school store? What? Then... <laughs> I'll add a drink to that. Excellent, I'd love to help. <sighs> Worried that Warre would go crazy again? I decided to talk to her. What do you want? Why the hell did you call me here? Don't bully Iori anymore. It'll be bad for you. Excuse me? Who do you think you are? Besides, I don't know what you're talking about. I know you made those posters. Excuse you! Stop accusing me. If you're going to do anything else to Iori, I'm going to have it handled. Stop messing around with me. I'm the daughter of a CEO. I can easily crush an introvert like you. All right. I guess I have no choice then. Wh wait a minute. Why do you have that? There are several security cameras that my parents set up in that apartment. It was easy to get this evidence after a little digging. Who the hell are you? Where did Ryo go? I wonder what he's doing. Wait, is that him? I'm the son of the Fujiwara Corporation. I'm sure you heard of it. Fujiwara? That's my daddy's company, parent's company! Why do you make Iori your enemy? That's because I couldn't give her. Because she had everything and everyone's attention. Iori isn't rich or anything, but she still has friends surrounding her. Why do you think that is? Who knows? It's probably because she's pretty. That's not it! No matter how much money you have, no matter how pretty you are, people don't gather around untrustworthy people. <laughs> Iori isn't calculating, and she treats everyone equally. That's why people love her so much. Ryo! Iori? Were you listening? Yeah. I heard everything. D do you think I can change? I want to be friends with everyone, too. Is it too late for me? Of course you can. I was just like you. I couldn't trust anyone around me, and thought that everyone only came close to me for money. That's why I left my house and started living on my own. Because I wanted real friends. Yori, I'm sorry. I want to be like you, too. After that incident, Yori and I started acting like we usually do, even in school. Of course, Yori's true self was quickly revealed, and I was worried about what would happen. But people thought it was easier to talk to her now, and she was surrounded by friends. For some reason, I was dragged into all of that, and my school life became a lot more fun. The only problem was that I was a little embarrassed at how clingy Yori was with me. <sighs> that feels good. I'm glad. <gasps> Why am I cleaning out a woman's ears? What if Yori is a scary woman that uses magic on men? Hey, why are you so nice to me, Ryo? I couldn't trust the people around me either. I thought that everyone came near me because they wanted money. That's why I left my house and started living on my own. Yeah, I know how that feels. But you were different. I was just an introverted high school student. But you trusted me. You don't know how happy that made me feel. <gasps> me too. I was thinking the same thing. You were always taking care of me and understood me even when you didn't know who I was. No one's ever been like that. We're very similar, aren't we? I love you, Ryo. I love you. I'm never letting you go. I love you too, Iori. I'm so glad we met. Will you make me your wife someday? Yeah, we're going to be together forever. We need to prepare then. Prepare? Why do I have a bad feeling about this? All right, let's start by living together immediately. Uh, we're still high schoolers. Isn't that a little too fast? When we live together, we can eat together, bathe together, sleep together, uh, and be together all the time. Oh, oh uh, I forgot I ran out of soy sauce. I'm going shopping. What? Wait a second. I'm not letting you get away, Ryo! I guess it's goodbye now. The girl saying that is the school's idol, Nanami Kagari. My name's Kazuki Sagami, and she's been my childhood friend, 
and has been with me ever since I could remember. We went to the same school all the way to high school, but now we were on separate paths. That's why we were saying goodbye today. Nanami, you're going to Tokyo to become an actress, right? You got this. Thank you, Kazuki-kun. You're going to a university in our hometown, right? Yep. There's something I want to do. Yes. Something I want to do. I wouldn't be able to achieve that if I headed straight into work. You were studying programming through high school, and worked hard at your part-time job to save money. It's so cool that you have a clear goal. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just doing what I need to do. That's all it is. Of course, if this was all for me, I don't know if I would have the motivation to work this hard. There's a different reason why I'm working so hard. Alright. I have to move tomorrow, so I'm going to go now. Watch me. I swear I'm going to make it and become famous. Of course. I'm always going to support you. Good luck. You too, Kazuki-kun. Just like that, my childhood friend and I parted ways. Ten years later, I used the money I saved up during high school to make more money through stocks during college. Of course, I did part-time jobs with my programming knowledge and did my best to make money. Using those funds, I started my own business immediately after graduating college. And I now operate three companies. Boss, it's time. Oh, thank you. Was my meeting with Himika-chan today? Yes, sir. Himika-chan is an online streamer who's affiliated with my company. As for the woman walking next to me, her name is Hamori-san, my assistant. Now that I operate three companies, it was extremely hard to manage my schedule on my own. Sorry about the wait, Himika-chan. Oh, hey boss, boss! Come on, come on, don't hug me! I mean, I don't get to see you without these meetings. She's a very clingy girl, but despite her looks, she's 20 years old. Let go of him. Even you're not allowed to have that much physical touch with the boss. Let me go, old lady. Old la- I'm two years younger than our boss, you know. Our boss is okay because he's nice and handsome. You, old lady, always get mad at me. So you're not. I told you I'm not an old lady. Come on, come on, calm down. Himika-chan was a handful, and a normal person would have a hard time keeping up with her. Still, she was extremely popular, so I wasn't going to let her go. That's why Hamori-san works as her manager. That's probably the reason why Himika-chan isn't really considerate of Hamori-san, and the two would always get into fights. Still, they were doing pretty well together either way, so I'm not that worried. Huh? Is that my phone? Kagari-san told me earlier that Nanami-chan is coming back today. She's going to live here from now on. If you have time, why don't you come over and see her? Nanami is going home? Nanami went to live in the city on her own after graduating high school. I heard her name around a couple of times after that, but I haven't heard about her for a couple of years now. If she's going home now, it probably means she gave up on her dream. Hamori-san? Can I cancel my plans for later tonight? You have dinner plans with the CEO from Khan on TV. It should be fine then. I'll ask him myself if we can reschedule. So, what are you two doing? Oh, nothing. I just wanted this bratty child to learn her lesson. Don't get too violent with her, okay? Gosh, I just took my eyes off of them for a second. Sir, I don't want her to be my manager. Change her! Himika seemed to be angry after saving her. In fact, she might have been salty about it. I didn't do anything wrong. Hamori-san must be salty too. Hamori-san is an excellent manager, so you're going to be the one in trouble if we replace her. But she's too mean to me. I'm sure Hamori-san would be nice to you if you were more polite. Uh, sir, are you not by my side? I'm in the middle. I'm not going to take sides. Huh. Then I might think about declining the television offer coming up. What? But you already agreed to the job, so you can't just... That's fine, but if you can cancel jobs like that last minute, you're not going to get offers anymore. Plus, our company can't keep supporting irresponsible girls like that. Is that okay with you? Ugh, no, I was just joking. Okay then, let's keep working on this then, okay? I yes. Alright, 
I'm going to step outside now. S sir Huh? Oh, I'll come back inside after I finish up with this call. No, it's not that. I was surprised you were able to calm Himeka-san down. Oh. I was the one that scouted her when she only had a couple of hundred subscribers. I took her under my wing until she became famous. I have a feeling she feels indebted to me. I started my business, this management company, four years ago. Online streamers were just starting to become famous at that time, but it was hard to form contracts with influencers who were already popular. It was because those people could gain their own popularity and get companies to work with them without having people like us supporting them in the background. That's why I was looking for influencers who weren't popular yet, but had the potential to be big. Someone with whom I could help create a vision for the future. I kept contacting influencers who uploaded frequently and worked hard. Our online streaming management company is now considered one of the top class ones because we started by making small influencers popular. The reason Himeka-san keeps asking crazy things from her other managers is probably because she wants you to be her manager like before, sir. So, she's afraid of making you angry and having you completely abandon her. Is that about it? Himeka-chan has the potential and popularity to be able to make it on her own. So I'm sure it'll be fine if she becomes independent. Please, don't say that to her face even if it's a joke. Himeka-san is the breadwinner for our company. We're already not making enough because you instructed us to rewrite contracts to decrease the percentage of income coming into our company from ads. That was the right thing to do, since the benefits that influencers receive from our company decreased. No matter what happens, if we don't think of these creators as a priority, we're going to end up losing them, you know? You're right about that, but... It seems like influencers at other management companies are starting to become independent. I guess but that can't be helped. All that we can do is constantly do things to benefit these girls and keep them as our priority. If we do that, I'm sure they will return the favor. Well, that's all a public face. If our company has benefits to give these influencers, they won't leave. If we try to one-sidedly exploit them, they'll think they're losing out and leave. All I'm saying is that while it's hard to work through that situation, if we keep them as a priority, they'll stay at our company. If they still decide that there are no benefits of staying with us and leave, we have to let that go. As for Himika-chan's, I feel like she's already getting to that stage in her career. We had a meeting about Himika-chan's future content after that. While she was working as an online streamer, as long as she remained affiliated with our management, we needed to discuss the path she wanted her content to take. Still, our goal is to try to let influencers do what they want. So we decided to listen to Himeka-chan's request again. Alright then, I'll pass that on to the clients. Thank you, boss. Love you. What are you saying, goodness? And you're doing something crazy again. I mean, it's a good thing to always challenge yourself. Besides, the reason we're here is so that she can make deals like that. I'm sure things like that would be hard being an independent online streamer. Yep, yep. Boss, you're so open-minded and kind as always. Unlike some old lady. Excuse me? Ladies, don't fight again. Anyways, good luck with everything, Himeka-chan. That night. Good evening. I visited Nanami's childhood home. Oh, Kazuki-kun. Nanami is in her room. Can I come in? Of course, please do. But Nanami seems very upset. I'd assume so. Please, let me up to see her. What? am I going to do from now on? Nanami? Long time no see. It's Kazuki. Can I come in? Kazuki-kun? Why are you here? I came here because I heard you came home. Can I come in? No, I don't know how I'm supposed to see you. I wasn't able to keep my promise to you. But you, Kazuki-kun, you own your own company now and become super successful. We live in different worlds now. <sighs> Sorry. I'm coming in. What? Kazuki-kun? Why are you being so negative? We can't see each other because you didn't keep your promise? Is that all our friendship meant to you? That's... I knew things weren't going the way you wanted them to, Nanami. I went to Tokyo sometimes for my work and talked to people in your industry. Really? Then why? 
because I knew you were working hard, even if you weren't getting that many job offers. I didn't want to bother you, so I didn't try to see you. From what I heard, Nanami came back sometimes for New Year's vacation, but since she didn't tell me herself, I knew that she didn't want to see me in person. I'm sure it was because she didn't want me to know things weren't going that well. That's why this is our 10-year reunion. Kazuki-kun, you haven't changed. But you're taller now, and you look more like an adult. Nanami, you look like an adult too. She might look tired, but she's even more beautiful than before. I'm sure her physical features won't lose against top actresses. Have you decided what you're going to do from now on? I haven't. I was going to find somewhere to work, but... Then come to my company. I'll hire you, Nanami. What? I can't do that. I can't just freeload off of your hard work. <sighs> Are you really going to quit your dream of being an actress? Because there's no place for me anymore. I have to leave my management company because I stopped getting job offers. Not that. You, Nanami. Do you want to continue being an actress? Or do you actually want to quit? That's... Of course, I want to keep working as an actress, but... Then come to my company. I'm operating three companies right now. The first is a systems operation company. The second is an online streaming management company. The third is an entertainment agency. What? You've been saying that you wanted to be an actress since we were kids, so I thought about ways I could help you out somehow. That's the reason I decided to create my own entertainment agency. So I could create a place for you to belong, Nanami. That's why I created a systems operation company and made sure I was able to get a stable income. When my online streaming management company became successful, I was able to get a lot of funds. While I did that, I made connections with important people in the television and entertainment industry and started my own agency two years ago. So that you can find a place for yourself if you ever needed to. Why did you do all that? Well, obviously, because you're my important childhood friend. Nanami was special to me because she was with me since I was born. Come to my agency. You shouldn't give up here. You have a talent for acting, so let's work together from now on. Kazuki-kun, thank you. I look forward to working with you. Of course. Me too. Just like that, Nanami became a member of our agency. With her. I made Himika-chan meet Nanami, but, as you can see, Himika-chan had a lot to complain about. This girl, she's Himika-chan. The girl with 3 million subscribers on that online streaming website, right? I feel bad having her team up with me. Himika-chan wants to start working as an actress, but she's a complete beginner in that industry. That's why I want you to teach her, Nanami. Why her? Bring someone who will actually teach me! But I can't just call anyone because she's bound to do something rude to them. Still, I couldn't make some random person instruct her, so I had Nanami be in charge. Nanami is amazing at acting. K kazuki kun Either way, try watching her. Nanami, can you read the lines from the script I gave you yesterday? Okay. Despite the craziness of it all, Nanami began reading the lines, just like I asked. I had only handed her the script yesterday, but it seemed like she had already memorized her lines. I had her act as a cool and mysterious character, but she was so into her role that she seemed like a different person. Uh, wow! When Nanami continued acting for 30 minutes, Himika-chan raised her voice in admiration and surprise. She was seriously amazing! Even I was surprised! That was amazing! I'm surprised that you memorized the entire script when I gave it to you just yesterday! Not at all. I started improvising around the middle. I just imagined what this character would say and did all things she would have done. I see. As expected from you. So, Himika-chan, do you have any complaints about Nanami giving you tips? N not at all! Alright then. Have Nanami teach you whatever skills you need. Nanami? I know you have a lot going on with your own life, too. But please, take good care of Himika-chan. Okay, I'll gladly do it if it's what you want, Kazuki-kun. I'm surprised Himika-san willingly accepted that. 
After I left the room, Hamori-san started following after me. People usually misunderstand her, but she's actually a very honest girl. She'll obediently listen to a person if they have the talent. That's why I had Nanami show her skills. I see. Wait, did you make Nanami-san advise her because... Yep. I knew that she had the talent. If not, she wouldn't be able to advise Himika-chan. But that's not all. Nanami is extremely sweet, cares about others, and understands what it's like to struggle in the industry. That's why I completely trust her to help Himika-chan out. Are you going to use Nanami-san as an instructor and not as an actress from now on? It's not like that at all! I made a deal with a client that's going to give Himika-chan and Nanami a role. I told them we'd do everything we can to make Himika-chan a decent actress, and in exchange, I had them also hire our new actress. That client looks more at acting skills than popularity, so if that job works out, Nanami will have more opportunities coming her way. Since Himika-chan is creating that opportunity for Nanami, I had Nanami become her coach. Basically, it's a win-win situation. I'm surprised that the client decided to hire Himika-chan, if he's so intent on hiring actresses with skills. That's because Himika-chan is a good actress. What? She might not have the skills as an actress yet, but her acting skills are excellent. What does that mean? Yeah, I figured you didn't notice. Her whiny and childlike personality is all an act. Her true self is a bit wild, but extremely well-mannered. What? What about when she calls me an old lady? She's trying to act like a bratty child. What's the point of doing all that? She doesn't trust others much. That's why, when other people are watching, she continues her online streaming personality. We should have explained that to the other managers. I mean, I wanted Himika-chan to trust and have a good enough relationship with her manager to the point she feels she doesn't have to put on an act. That's why I didn't tell you about it. Why are you telling me now? That's because I trust you, Hamori-san. I trust that you're the one person who could build a good relationship with Himika-chan. That's why I'm telling you. Thank you, sir. I always leave the hard work to you. Looking at your accomplishments, anyone would trust you. Keep up the good work. I yes, sir. Thank you so much. From that day on, Nanami and Himika-chan worked hard to practice their acting. Himika-chan had videos to upload, but despite that, she worked super hard. According to her, if she couldn't handle balancing both, there was no point in doing it. Nanami worked hard so she wouldn't get left behind either. Two years later, Nanami and Himika-chan debuted in their first movie and became popular actresses as a result. The whole nation finally recognized their talent. I'm so glad that both of their dreams came true, because they're both important people to me. But there's one problem. I told you! I'm going to hang out with him today! You can't! I finally got a day off, so I want to spend it with Kazuki-kun! Everyone thinks that Nanami and Himika-chan are close friends, but behind the scenes, they were always fighting over me. Hamori-san gets involved in it for some reason, but I was struggling to get all three girls on the same page. Still, I was the one who teamed these three up, so I'm going to continue working hard to support them in everything they do. Hey, Asahi, do you want to go out for dinner? Sounds good! I'd love to! Let's go. My name is Asahi Baba. I'm a regular office worker who does sales for a trading company. The person standing next to me is my senior colleague, Nako Kawakita. I learn from her every day while working on her team underneath her. Great work today, as usual. You too! Well done! Miss Kawakita? Is something the matter? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. I just thought you had less energy today and... You were getting so much done at the office today in perfect fashion, but as soon as we left, you seemed a bit down, so I thought I should ask. Uh, well, yes. I need to do my best at work, so I was pushing myself. I just didn't want to go home today. Would it be inappropriate for me to ask why? Yeah, you'll have to listen to me complaining, though. It's just that, uh, actually, my parents are telling me I need to bring a boyfriend home to them soon. What? So why don't you do that? I don't have a boyfriend, though. Wait, what? Really? 
I should be asking you why you thought I had one. I'm pretty sure I never mentioned having a boyfriend. That's because you were always asking me what kind of girls I like or about my love life. But anytime I asked you, you would never reply. Well, uh, well, that's... So that's why I assumed you had a boyfriend, and that you just didn't want to talk about things like that. Oh, uh, I see. But why don't you want a boyfriend? I'm sure you have a lot of guys going after you all the time. Even today, didn't you have a client give you his phone number? Well, maybe, but... I don't think I want to date someone who would do that thing in the middle of work. Plus, I would never just go out with someone that I don't even like, you know? She's a lot more of a maiden than I thought. Hey, I bet you were thinking I sound like a little girl. Uh, no, not at all. I just thought that it was cute. Hmm, you shouldn't be teasing your senior colleague. Uh, I'm sorry. Gosh, you keep interrupting with weird comments so I can't continue my story. Uh, sorry. You were saying that your parents want you to bring home a boyfriend, but why don't you just tell them that you can't bring one home? Because you don't have a boyfriend. Uh, I know, but the problem is... A little while ago, I, I accidentally told my mom that I do have a boyfriend. Oh dear. Why did you show off like that? <sighs> because over the last year, my mom has been begging me to get married, and that she can't wait to see her grandchildren, and it's been so annoying. So I got fed up, and I told her that I do have a boyfriend, but we're going to get married at her own pace, so to leave me alone. Uh, I see. After that, she stopped saying things like get married or get a boyfriend, but instead now she's been insisting that I need to bring a boyfriend home and introduce him. I see. That's pretty rough, too. Mm, I wish that I could help her, but there's nothing I can do. Oh, I know. Then why don't I pretend to be your boyfriend? What? Really? If you're okay with it, then it would be a huge help. Oh, I, I, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind that it's me. I was half kidding with such a ridiculous suggestion, but I think she just got on board. Even if it's fake, are you sure you're okay with me as your boyfriend? We're on such different levels that it'll probably be really obvious. No, not at all. If anything, you're the only one that could do it. What? Why is that? Because, if it's you, then you know me pretty well, right? That's true. You do take me out for dinner pretty often, so I know your personality and stuff. But like I said before, I don't know anything about your romantic life, so if they poke around in that area at all, they'll know immediately that we're lying. Uh, uh, fine, then I'll tell you everything now. What? You're going to tell me everything? Because the last few times I asked, you seemed like you really didn't want to talk about it. It's not that I don't want to talk about it. It's just that talking about those things is a little embarrassing. Well, I guess that's true too. So that means, even though it's embarrassing, she's going to tell me in order to make the fake boyfriend strategy a success. Which means that this is my chance to ask her all the things that I couldn't ask her before. Alright, well, which do you prefer? Younger guys or older guys? How is that going to be more important when you talk to my mom? Of course it's important! If you like younger guys, then there's no problem. But if you like older guys, then I need to make myself seem more mature. You think so? Well, I like younger guys anyway, so I guess there's no problem. Oh, really? Well, then, what type of personality do you like? Hmm... I think I like honest guys who are nice and will listen to my stories. That are younger than me. That was very specific. <sighs> what? What's the matter? Did I say something wrong? Nothing. Well then, what type of girls do you like? I told you before, didn't I? I like hardworking and smart, nice girls who are good at their job and are older than me. I know I asked you before, but it could have changed, you know. Well, I guess you have a point. It's so obvious that I'm talking about her. Why won't she notice that? Just goes to show how little she even considers me as a potential partner. But if I like younger guys and you like older girls, then I guess we won't have any issues. I think we'd be able to convince her. That's true. You're right. The more truth there is mixed into the lie, 
the easier it'll be to believe. Yeah, exactly. Oh, then, before we go to my house and meet my mom, we should go on a date together. What? Did you say a date? Yeah. If we go on at least one date together, when it comes up in conversation, it'll be easier for us to talk about it. That's a good point. A date with you. We've gone to dinner together multiple times after work, but it'll be the first time we're hanging out on a day off. How about next Saturday? We can go on a date, and then you can come over to meet my mom on Sunday. Yes, sounds good to me. I spent the days leading up to our fake date feeling nervous and anxious. Hmm. At work, she always makes sure that she's at least five minutes ahead, but she's late today. But I guess this is her personal life, and there's no need to worry so much about the time, so it's fine. Oh, there she is! I'm sorry, I was running late. No need to apologize. You weren't even five minutes late. But more importantly, I've never seen you wear your hair like this. Yeah, I tried it out for the first time, but it took a lot longer than I expected, so... I see. Well, even though this is a fake date, it makes me really happy that you took your time to do your hair like that. Plus, it looks amazing! I really like it! Really? Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I did my hair like this, then. Man, she really is too cute. Alright, well, should we go to a clothing store to start? Sure. Why don't we do that? What are you going to buy? I can't remember the last time I went to buy new clothes. I don't know if I'll buy anything yet, but I was just thinking I wanted to go look at some clothes. Sounds good. Shall we go then? I can't wait to see her try on new clothes and look cute in all of them. The two of us headed towards a clothing store, but... Wait a second. This place only has men's clothing, though. Yep, that's because we came here to look for your clothes. What? Oh, no, I'm fine, though. I usually just buy random things anyway. That's exactly why. Look, even what you're wearing now doesn't fit you, does it? Uh, I got this one when I was a bit heavier. Heavier? I don't remember you ever being fat. Ever since I joined this company, I haven't bounced back to that weight. Back in my first year of college, I started living alone for the first time, and I gained a lot of weight at that time. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, does that mean that you've had those clothes for that long? It's a good thing that you take care of your things and have them for a long time. But if your body has changed, then you should be getting new clothes to match. You're right. I guess I'll keep these for just wearing at home. Sounds good. All right, can I choose a few things then? Please do. You have much better taste than I do anyway. We spent the next two hours going around different stores and trying on a lot of clothes. This is the first time I've spent this much time shopping for clothes. Wait, really? I actually wanted to look at more places if we had time. Oh, really? I'm glad we finished in about this much time then. Tomorrow, I want you to wear this. This and this. Put together when you come. Aw, oh, sheesh. Is that what we're shopping for today? No, not exactly, but I thought it might be perfect. Wait, but don't you think it's a little too casual if I'm going to meet your mom? I was thinking about going in a suit. Hmm, don't you think that it would be a little too formal, though? I would understand if you were going to ask them for my hand in marriage to wear a suit. Now that you mention it, that's true. Thank you. Even if today was a fake date, I'm still really happy we got to go out on it. And plus, the food here is really good. I'm glad. I came here once before with a friend, and it was really great, so I had been wanting to tell you about it. Oh, really? Well, thank you. It's great. She's so cute. This is definitely a regular date. At least, it feels like it to me. I wonder if she feels the same way at all. Even a little bit. Oh, by the way, you're not allowed to call me your senior colleague tomorrow or address me so formally. Why? Of course not. Most people wouldn't speak to their girlfriends like that. Well, then, I'll call you Miss Kawakita. I'm pretty sure most people also wouldn't say Miss or use the last name, don't you think? I'm going to call you Asahi, so you should call me Nako, too. Oh, man, I don't think I could. Uh, can I at least say Miss Nako? Well, I guess I'm older than you, so that should be fine. But now that I think about it, we should have started calling each other like this from the beginning of our date. That's true. I'm so used to calling you a certain way already that I might mess it up tomorrow. All I can say to you is, good luck. Yep. I'll be careful and do my best. 
All right. Well, since you're coming over to my place in the morning tomorrow, why don't we head home now? Yes, let's. Well then, see you tomorrow, Asahi. I could get used to this. You too, Miss... Miss Nako. Oh, and you can speak formally to my mom, but you need to be more casual with me. Yes, yeah. All right. Am I really going to be able to play the part of her boyfriend tomorrow? I'm pretty nervous. The next day... Well, well, welcome. I'm Nako's mom, Satoko Kawakiti. Um, my name is Asahi Baba. Nice to meet you. Her mother opened the door, and I was escorted into the living room. You look a little bit younger than Nako. Are you her junior colleague at work? Yes, Miss... Nako is two years older than me, and I work under her in our company. That was close. It's so hard trying to be so casual with her. Oh, I see. So which one of you two confessed your feelings first? Shoot! I hadn't thought of an answer to this question. It was me. I approached her. <laughs> what? Oh, so that means you started to like Nako first, huh? What did you like about her? Mom, you're asking too many questions. You're making Asahi uncomfortable. Why not? I've been wanting to ask these questions. Um, this might sound strange coming from her junior colleague, but I like how hardworking and smart she is. She's good at her job, and she's serious. And that's what I like about her. Plus, she's not only nice to her bosses, she's always kind to her junior colleagues like me, and I think she's an amazing person. Well, it seems like you've gotten quite the crush on her. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. That's because you made him say it, Mom. You're right. I'm very sorry. From there, I spent almost two hours talking to her mother. Asahi, don't you think you should get going soon? Mom, you're satisfied, right? Yeah, I suppose so. I had a wonderful time. Asahi, please come over to visit again soon. Yes, I will. Thank you very much for today. And next time, I'd be even happier if you come to her not as a fake boyfriend, but the real thing. What? Mom, since when did you notice? Since yesterday. Yesterday was your first date, wasn't it? What? Uh, uh, how did you know? You really thought I wouldn't notice when you were acting so strangely. Even when you were eating breakfast, you were fidgeting the whole time. And I had never seen you put in so much effort into your clothes or even your makeup. Especially your hair. If you realize it then, why didn't you say something? Why did you wait until he was actually here? Why not? I wanted to meet Asahi too. You're always talking about him. So if you were going to bring home a pretend boyfriend, I figured that he would be your only option. Really? Mom, please don't say anything further. Asahi, let's go. I'll walk you to the station. Yes! I see. This is what it's usually like between the two of you. Gosh, shut up, Mom. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I knew she might figure it out, but I really didn't think that she already knew before you even arrived. Same. I was surprised, too. I'm really sorry. I put you through that. It feels like a bad drama. I really want to make it up to you, so... Do you want to go for some food with me now? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, but before we go, can I just confirm one little thing? Yes, what is it? Um, well, earlier, when you were talking about what you like about me and what you answered when I asked you what type of girl you like, it were the same answer, but you just said that to play the role of my boyfriend today, right? No, those were my honest feelings. I felt that way ever since I started at the company two years ago. And you're the only person that I've ever had eyes for. What? No way. Really? Yes. If anything, every time I would tell you what type of girl I like, you never seemed to realize that I was talking about you, which I thought was extremely clueless. That might be true, but I could say the same for you, you know? Do you remember what my answer was when you asked me what type of guy I like? I'm pretty sure you said honest guys who are nice, and will listen to your stories that are younger than you, right? No matter how you think about it, I'm clearly talking about you. Uh, I had no idea. Yeah, 
Looks like we both thought the other person was extremely clueless. Yes, I guess so. Now that you already know how I feel, it's a little bit embarrassing to do this. But I want to make sure I do this right. So would you mind if I say it again? Yeah. Miss Kawakita, I've always liked you. Will you please go out with me? Yes, I've always liked you too. I'm excited to be your girlfriend. I guess we didn't have to fake it after all. Now that we are a real couple. I know. Should we go back one more time and redo it? That would be way too embarrassing, so maybe next time. Our first date may have been on the premise of being fake, but I'm looking forward to our next real date. re o Ugh, uh, you're here again? My name's Ryo Yasumi, and I was looking up at the bright blue sky when a drunk lady appeared in front of me. Her name is Maho Harumiya, and she lives around this area. Whenever I see her on the weekends, she's drunk in broad daylight. I think she's a bad example of an adult. For some reason, she persistently tries to talk to me. It's been over two years since we met. Where are you looking at the sky again? I have nothing else to do. Hmm? Do you want me to bring you somewhere again then? Can you ask me that when you're not drunk? <sighs> you're gonna be mean to me? I'm 24 years old, you know. I'm seven years older than you, Mr. High Schooler. Give me some respect. I think it's a little hard to respect a drunk person like her. Can you at least stop drinking during the di- Okay, let's go to the gaming center today. <sighs> you never listen to what I have to say. Miss, are you always bored? Very rude, aren't you? I'm a businesswoman. I work from day to night on the weekdays. Then why don't you relax at home when you're off? Tsk, tsk, tsk. You're still a child, Ryokun. An adult way to spend the weekend is to drink early in the morning and live however you want. Yeah, that's a lie. How do you know that? At the very least, that's what I always do. I've never seen my parents spend their weekends that way. I mean, I rarely see them home, but... Ryokun. I'm sorry. It's nothing. Yeah, yeah, you should have fun when something bad happens. Then, you'll forget about it by tomorrow. I wish I was as carefree as her. Alright, let's play this musical game then. Maho-san, do you always play games like this? Nope, I rarely come to the gaming center in the first place. I think the last time I played this was in high school. There were a lot of families that would go to the gaming center when I was little. But you can play games at home now. And after cell phones started coming out, fewer people come here. I mean, I guess it can't be helped. That's what happens when technology advances. It's a difficult problem. They say a lot of jobs are going to be taken over by robots in the future. If we let everything slide by saying it's more convenient, we might end up regretting it in our future. You know, like in those science fiction movies. Maho-san? Huh? What's wrong? Are you really Maho-san? What's that supposed to mean? It's so strange to hear you talk about a serious topic. Who do you even think I am? I'm a businesswoman who's older than you. I know a lot more about society than you, sir. Don't get so angry. Anyways, shall we play? Gosh, you always make fun of me. <sighs> it's fine, I'll play. Shoot. What's wrong? I think I forgot my wallet at home. Oh, I see. You did it again. Maho-san is super clumsy. She's forgotten her wallet at home a couple of times now. Uh, that's not it. I have a very sincere explanation for this. Very sincere explanation? <laughs> that must be hard. What? Uh, I just know you're making fun of me. I'm not. She probably forgot to put her wallet inside her purse because she was drunk. I'm going home. I'll lend you money. My pride as an adult can't stand borrowing money from a high schooler anymore. I see. That's a shame then. I guess we're done for today. What are you saying? You're coming with me. What? It's only lunchtime. What made you think that I'm going to let you go home? Your plan is to hang out with me all day, okay? And like that, Maho-san pulled me in the direction of her house. That's when... It's not here. It's not here either. My wallet, it's gone. It seems like Maho-san had lost her wallet. This is a more troublesome situation than usual. 
It seems she sobered up from the sudden problem, too. Do you remember putting your wallet in your purse? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Then there's a high possibility that you dropped it somewhere. You should call up your credit card companies and ask them to freeze your cards just in case. Maho-san immediately called up her credit card companies and had them freeze her cards. While she did that, I thought about our game plan. If it's somewhere in this house, it's safe, since no one will pick it up and try to steal it. So that means we should walk through Maho-san's day outside first. If she still can't find it, I guess we'll have to file a missing report at the police station. It seemed like she was going to have her credit and debit cards reissued, so she was okay on that end. Her credit card company also told her not to worry, since she would be receiving reimbursements if her card was used by someone else. But her driver's license was inside her wallet, so it was better if we find it quickly. Uh, I can't find it. We walked through the same streets Maho-san had walked that day, but we couldn't find her wallet anywhere. Someone else most likely got to it first. What do I do now? Ugh, my life is over. We filed a missing items report with the police, so let's leave it with them. You have your bank pass with you, right? I do, but I can't pull out my money without my card at the bank I use. If I don't have my debit card, I can't pull out any money. So you have nothing right now? <laughs> How do I say this? I feel so bad for you. I don't even know what to say. Reissuing debit cards takes a week minimum. It's over. I don't even have money for night's dinner. Uh, all right then. Ryokun? Come to my house. I can give you something to eat at the very least. What? But I can't make a high schooler treat me to food. It's not like I'm directly paying for it. To be exact, my parents are the ones treating you. So don't worry about it. Uh, you're really okay with it? We should help each other out when we're in need. Uh, okay. Yes, please then. She must have been mentally exhausted at that point, because she followed me very obediently. Then... Oh, what is this huge house? You didn't know? I mean, you never brought me to your house before. This is the first time I've been to a house this crazy big. Yeah, it's big, but, you know, it's very lonely being here by yourself sometimes. Huh? You don't have housekeepers? I thought huge places like this normally have people attending to the house. My parents are super cautious. They're afraid something might happen if they hire someone. So that's why they don't hire housekeepers. Besides, I think it's more so because they rarely come home. They probably think it's a waste to hire someone. But you're here, Ryokun. I can always eat outside. A cleaning robot cleans up my room, too. I'm allowed to spend my money how I want to, and they always deposit money into my account. They gave me a credit card, too, so this is no problem for me. Uh, Ryokun, do you have food inside your fridge? Well, I don't cook, so nothing at the moment. Okay, do you want to go shopping then? I'll have to borrow money, but I can cook you something. Maho-san, you can cook? Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Usually people like you don't know how to cook. That's so rude! I live on my own, so of course I know how to cook! Seriously? That's so unexpected. I don't mind eating somewhere. Nope. I want to have some warm homemade food. You might be always eating expensive food, but I want you to know that homemade food is also delicious. She... somehow seems so different from Maho-san. I mean, it's probably because I only know the drunk Maho-san. What should I cook? Should I cook the basics? Like karage or Japanese hamburger? She seems so happy. Did she already forget that she lost her wallet? Did we need to buy this much food? <laughs> I'm going to cook you a lot of delicious food, okay? You're still growing, so you need to eat a lot. Please don't go too crazy. I feel like you'd cook a crazy amount of food. Alright, just wait. I'll be done quickly. Maho-san started cooking immediately. She was very skilled in the kitchen, and was so different from her usual clumsy self. I guess there are still things I don't know about her. This is so good! <laughs> right, right? I've been cooking since I was an elementary schooler. I guess every person had some kind of thing they're good at. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I'm saying that the food is delicious. I didn't hear you very clearly. I bet you're making fun of me. 
I'm not! Fio kun you always make fun of me. I'm going to make you pay one day. If you're going to say that, you should try to fix your childlike attitude first. I thought that in my head, but I wasn't about to say any extra comments out loud. After that, we washed dishes together. I mean, we just rinsed them and let the dishwasher do its thing. I'll finish up here, so you can go sit down and relax. I can't do that. I'm supposed to do this because I'm older. Ryokun, you should go rest on the sofa. I can't make a guest do all of this by herself. You already cooked for me. Guest? More like freeloading. I'll take care of you from now on, Ryokun. You don't need to do all that. I'm doing it because it makes me happy to take care of you, Ryokun. You're happy? People are usually supposed to think it's a hassle. Not at all. I think of you like my little brother, so it makes me happy. We're not related by blood, and I met you after I became a high schooler, didn't I? Why do you think of me as your little brother? Probably because you're sassy and say whatever you want to me. Uh... I mean, that's a half joke. And the other half is serious? I think it's because I feel like I can't leave you alone, Ryokun. Ignoring what I said, Maho-san continued talking. You can't leave me alone? When I first met you, I thought, he looked so sad. He sat on the bench at the park and stared at the sky for hours. I felt like you'd one day disappear if I left you alone. So, I couldn't leave you. Oh. Hey, why do you look so sad? What's on your mind? It's nothing serious. You're lying. We've known each other for two years now. I already know when you're lying. Uh, I'm athletic and have good grades, but... What? Are you showing off? Uh, I was stupid for trying to talk to you about it. H hold on, I was joking, it was a joke! Tell me about it! You're not going to take me seriously, are you? I, I will, I totally will! My dad is a professional baseball player, and my mom is a doctor. Whoa, an elite family. Yeah. Everyone tells me that. They say the reason I can play sports and get good grades is because of my genetics. They don't care about how hard I worked at all. Did something happen? I mean, I did have a fight with them. I thought that everything was pointless, so I stopped playing sports and stopped studying. My parents left me after that. It was all my fault, though. They left you? They weren't a very good couple, but after I started high school, they started living separately. They were only together because of me, so when they decided that they didn't need me, their relationship fell apart. That's why I'm the only one in this house. I mean, I get money deposited into my account and have a credit card, so it's not like I'm struggling. Oh, I see. You must have been sad. What? Maho-san? You went against the norm just once, and you lost everything as a result, right? You were staring up at the sky because you didn't know what to do. You can't do things like this! I'm younger than you, but I'm still a man! It's okay. I told you, didn't I? You're like a little brother to me. I'll spoil you. Oh! Can you still say that if I tell you that I have feelings for you? What? What are you saying all of a sudden? Oh, I know. You're making fun of me again, aren't you? <laughs> I'm pretty serious. What? You always make fun of me! I thought you were a bad adult that drinks in broad daylight, but I thought that your childlike actions and your clumsiness were cute. I mean, I do admit that I didn't see you as an older woman, but... But that's because I treated you like a girl my age! <laughs> what? Does that mean you want to be in a relationship with me? That's... I wonder, does it? Hey! You're supposed to nod and say yes! I feel like I need more than half-hearted determination in order to date you. So don't treat me like stigmatized property! But besides, I didn't say I'd be in a relationship with you. I I'm an adult, so I won't fall for you that easily. You're still a high schooler, so that's impossible. If you can make me fall for you, I'd like to see you try. Uh, you said it! What? I understand. If that's how you feel, I'll take on the challenge. Uh, um, that's... Um, Ryokun, calm down. As for what happened after that? Ryokun, 
I love you. Maho-san fell for me quite easily. I mean, as for what happened, I'll leave that up to your imagination. Now that we started dating officially, I spoke with my parents to let them know that I wanted to start living with her. That's when... It's your life, Ryo. Do what you want. They abandoned me already, so they approved without any struggle. In order to make Maho-san happy, but also to get back at my parents, I started working hard and changed up my attitude. It's not going to be easy, but I'll do my best so that I don't make the same mistakes again. By the way, we coincidentally found a dog holding onto Maho-san's wallet, so she ended up getting that back. Ouch! Ugh. Is it too early to move? I want to be able to walk on my own. My name is Kyogo Michiki, and I'm a 25-year-old businessman. With a medium height and build, I was fairly healthy. Still, with a twist of fate, I ended up hospitalized. <gasps> hey! Kyoko-san, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I thought I could stand a little bit. Not on your own, you can't! Please follow the doctor's orders! Her name is Mai Yukawa, and she's the nurse that's in charge of me. She's a very hard-working and dependable person who's very dedicated to her job. Thinking about what's best for me, she takes care of everything for me, down to the smallest detail. Besides, why are you even trying to get up? Tell me the reason. Uh, I wanted to go to the restroom. Gosh, this is not the place to be embarrassed. You're injured. I'm sorry. Make sure you call me every time you want to get up. <laughs> Thank you so much. By the way, what happened to the kid? You don't need to worry. He's all better now and got released from the hospital. I see. I'm glad. It was raining that day, and visibility was low since early morning. I was outside for work when I ran into the road to save a child from getting hit by a car while he was crossing the crosswalk. When I opened my eyes, I was in a hospital bed. Don't do crazy things like that anymore. It all happened suddenly. I did it unconsciously. I mean, it's super heroic, but it was crazy dangerous. My son? You're that worried about me? That makes me happy. This was my warning as a nurse, but when you say it like that, I'm going to start overthinking it. An angel in a white coat is someone like you, I bet. Gosh, I told you to stop it. I'm going now. Wait a minute! My boring hospital life wasn't that bad because of my son, but suddenly, she came like a crazy storm. Kyo-chan, I'm here to see you! Oh, it's you, Misora. You're energetic all year round, aren't you? Her name is Misora Haruno, and she's a 20-year-old college student. We're neighbors, so we've been close friends since we were kids. She appears like someone who plays around but goes to a prestigious university, which is pretty annoying. Oh my god, you're all wrapped up! Oh, that makes it look like a bad injury! It doesn't just look like a bad injury. It's actually pretty bad. Uh, what? Uh, uh, really? Oh, you're so dramatic. Then, uh, what about here? Hey, stop it! I'm an injured patient! Stop lying! You seem fine. Tickle, tickle! <laughs> I bet this is your weak spot. <laughs> that tickle! Ouch! Dude, this is a hospital! Kyogo-san, why are you making a come up? Oh... Shoot! Uh... You two! This is a hospital! Uh, no. My son, this isn't what it seems like. I... What? Is she doesn't have to be so uptight. We're having fun. Hey, stupid! Don't say things like that! Because I just messed around a little. She doesn't need to get mad. You suddenly tickled me! Come on, Kyo-chan. You look like you're having fun, too. Ugh. Stop it! The two of you! This is a hospital, so please be quiet! Is that girl his girlfriend? What are we going to do? We made her mad. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
I got a little heated. Why are you so upset about it? You'll never understand a man's feelings. From that day on, my son only talked to me whenever it was necessary. Two weeks passed without us fixing things, and after I was able to move a little bit, I was released from the hospital. Don't push yourself too hard. You're not completely recovered yet. Thank you for everything. My son, I'll see you then. Take care. She won't look me in the eyes until the very end. We probably won't see each other again. It's been a week after being released from the hospital. I can't even move freely yet, so it's boring. Drinking a little bit is fine, right? Huh? Who's that? Did my packages get delivered? Coming... Ah, wait! My son?! What are you doing here? Um... I'm here for a follow-up on your recovery. Can I come in? Uh, I'll clean up a little bit then, so if you could wait for a little- Don't worry about that. Come on. You're injured, so keep resting. I can't just- WATCH OUT! <laughs> um, are you alright? Uh, this was a total accident. I'm sorry, I can't move very well. You're fine. It seems like you need more physical therapy. Seems like it. What? Excuse me? Kyoko-san, don't tell me that's alcohol! That's... I thought a little would be okay. Of course not! What are you going to do if you got drunk and fall? You're going to be in the hospital again! I'm scared. She's seriously mad. Gosh, you're not going to get better in a messy room like this either. I couldn't get my hands on cleaning yet. Your follow-up is bad. An F. I can't just leave you like this. Does that mean I have to go back to the hospital? We don't have the space in the hospital like that. So, I'll be managing things. What? Manage? I'll be coming here to take care of you every day. No complaints, right? <laughs> no. No complaints. If you're drinking again, you're going to be in a lot of trouble! Understand? I won't drink, I promise. Just like that, my son and I started sort of living together. Start with cleaning? Oh, what is this? Uh, I'll clean that up immediately. You have a big pile of laundry too. Oh, and your underwear is so flashy. D don't look at that! I'm going to massage you next. Your muscles should be tight since you've been laying down a lot. <clears throat> <sighs> like this. Ouch! Can you do that a little more nicely, please? Nope. It's not going to be good physical therapy if I'm being lenient. Yes, you're exactly right, but ouch! Still, you're very nice, Kyogo-san. Not everyone can jump in front of a car to save a child. Oh, my body just moved unconsciously. I've had a similar experience before, but I don't remember at all. Um... My son, you're a little too close, and I'm embarrassed. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks to my son strictly managing my life, my injuries were slowly getting better. At the same time, I felt her presence in my life getting larger and larger. The more things she did for me, the more the question in my head bothered me. Dinner's almost ready. Thank you for everything. But why are you doing all of this for me? Is this a new form of marriage fraud? Did you say something? No, nothing. <laughs> I'm joking. The truth is, I had my life saved in the past, too. When I was in elementary school, I drowned in a lake while my father was on vacation. I lost consciousness thinking, this is it. But when I opened my eyes, I was at the hospital. The person that saved my life is out there somewhere, but... It was chaos at the time, and I never got the chance to thank them. It's been a while since then. That's why it feels like that person and you who saved the child are the same person. That's a wonderful story. But that means you don't even remember their face. No, I don't remember a single thing. The reason I became a nurse was in hopes that I would be able to see that person again. I see. I bet that person that saved me is someone like you, Kyogo-san. I don't have that much courage. I hope you get to meet them one day. Right, my son is a nurse. She's nice to me because it's a part of her job. 
Don't get any mixed feelings. I'm just another one of her patients. My son is coming soon. Maybe I should wipe my body since I don't want to stink. But my son... Just because she's a nurse... Do nurses come to people's houses just to take care of their patients? Does she... There's no way. Whoa, my son! Wait a second! Oh, why are you shirtless? Oh, it's you, Misora. What are you doing here? I came all this way to check on you. You should appreciate me. I'm wiping my body right now. Go over there. Yeah, yeah, I got it. As if I'd say that. Come on, I'll help you. Give me a towel. Don't be shy, don't be shy. We're like this, aren't we? Come on, don't hesitate to ask me for help. I'll wipe down everything for you. We even took baths together, didn't we? How many years ago was that? It's fine. I can do it myself. Hey, stop! You're not completely recovered yet, right? You're patient. Be obedient. Come on. You need to stretch your arms more. Like, uh, like that. Ah, ouch! Give me a break. I'm not fully healed yet, so be nice to me. You... Kyogo-san is injured. Even the last time I saw you. Can't you be more gentle? What? Well, my son? When did you... Who are you? Besides, why are you in Kyogo-chan's house? You're a complete stranger. I'm taking care of him because it's my responsibility as a nurse. Oh? I bet you have feelings for Kyo-chan. He is a nice guy after all. It's not that. I'm indebted to him, so I need to return the favor. Indebted? If you're Kyogo-san's girlfriend, please treat him better. You only came to him at the hospital once, and you barely come to see him after he comes back home. What kind of relationship do you two have? If you're not going to treat him better, break up with him. I'll be the one to take care of him. He's not my boyfriend. What? Uh, wait, but... Oh, she's my cousin. We grew up like siblings. Even if we weren't related, I wouldn't date a girl like this. Hey, that's mean. I'm hurt. Uh, I can't believe it. I thought she was your girlfriend. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry, too. It's probably easy to misunderstand. She said she'll take care of you. How cute. Uh, I got butterflies. But please stop it. But uh, why are you taking care of this weird dude? Kyoko-san, do you remember this? That... The keychain that was on my bag. Why do you have that? Apparently, I was holding this in my hand when I was rescued after drowning. The address was faded so I could read it, but I could only make out the name and birthday. Does that mean the person who saved you was... Yes, it was you, Kyogo-san. When you came to the hospital and I saw your name, I thought my heart was going to stop. When I checked your birthday on the charts, I knew that it had to be you. I was going to tell you, but... I thought Misora-san was your girlfriend, and I didn't know how to bring it up. Aww, I didn't know that! You didn't even have to worry! Kyogo-san, thank you so much for saving me that day. Because of you, I'm now a nurse that has opportunities to save many people. I'm so... I'm honestly so glad I got to see you again. I'm sorry that I didn't notice. The fact that the girl I saved is taking care of me now. I feel so blessed right now. So, what are you gonna do now, the two of you? Do? Let me rephrase. What do you want to do? Um, that's... Gosh, you two need to make things clear. Hey, Misora! Uh, I'm probably in the way, so I'm going. Bye! I... I see you as a woman, not just as a nurse. Uh, me too. I honestly forgot that I was trying to return the favor halfway through. I think I've fallen for you. Will you be with me from now on? Yes. I also fell from you the moment I met you. Just like that, I became my son's boyfriend. After my injuries fully healed, we started actually living together. Our love continued to grow even more. And as a result, we've decided to get married. I never would have thought this day would come. If we weren't reunited at that hospital, who knew what would have happened? 
Even if we did, I would have met you again somehow somewhere, Kyogo. Yeah, you're right. Because you were born into this world to protect and watch over me. I love you, Kyogo. I love you too, Mai. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.